Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Karani. This is the first video in a series that is going to be uh, aiming at training business users on how to use ERP next. So in this very initial video, I want first of all uh, to go through what ERP next is and the kind of modules that we can find in there. And then from there, we are going to, in the near future, start looking at uh, how to set it up and then we go diving into how to use each and every one of these modules to facilitate the processes of your business. So here I am already logged into uh, my ERP Next instance and this is an instance that I have set up basically so that people can uh, log in to it and test out what ERP Next is able to offer them. And therefore, I'm going to be giving you the uh, login details of to this instance so that you can also log in and test it out for yourself. So uh, if you are focused on accounting, you'll be able to log in here and actually go ahead and test out a few things about accounting. You can look at the chart of accounts. You can look at the kind of reports that are available in ERP Next accounting module and anything else that you would in be interested to do or to know and understand before you can get started with uh, ERP Next. Now, uh, since I'll be giving you my the logins to this instance, I uh, expect that you are going to maintain discipline when you're using the system. That is a very kind uh, request so that uh, the instance is going to benefit many people as it will have benefited you. Without uh, wasting more time there uh, talking about that, let me dive into the modules we have here. Uh, on a very, on a very high, very high level, I'm going to be telling you what these are, and I'll be also showing you the kind of uh, things that are uh, available, the things that you can explore, and the things that you can leverage uh, in Europe Next for the purpose of your business. So here I have clicked the accounting module and here you can see a number of things here like the chart of accounts, the sales invoices, the purchase invoices, journal entries are here, payment entries you can do from here. Uh, you can see the uh, receivables, your receivables, you can look at the general ledger, trial balance and there is even a dashboard dedicated specifically for accounts. And from there here we have reports, there are a number of reports here, I'm not going to be looking at all of them. You can see all these, that is the title, and then down here, all these are reports that are available in, in, in the accounting module for ERP Next. And he, then here you have uh, your quick uh, documents to your important accounting um, sections, like the payer boss. Reports again we have here, financial statements are here. And then ERP Next also has the ability to handle multi-currency. So this is where you can be able to uh, set that up in your ERP Next instance. And then there are a few other settings that you can do here, like the payment gateways, the terms and conditions, and also the mode of payments. And then we have banks here. These are, these are, these are payments uh, uh, that are coming to the bank. You can set up a bank, a bank account, and all these. That is all within the accounting module. And then you have other subscriptions here. In case you have any kind of subscriptions, you are able to manage them in the accounting module. The things that deduct or the things that you are expected to make payments for uh, in maybe a week or a month or maybe whatever kind of uh, duration you are supposed to make the payments. And then here we have shareholder information still in the accounting module so you don't have to store this in a different software or, uh, or maybe something like a different uh, uh, the books or hard copies of documents that is also being managed within ERP Next. And then here we have the cost centers. This is very, very important for the purposes of budgeting. And therefore, that uh, tells you uh, that you are also able to do your budgeting and forecasting in ERP Next. And this is where we can do that. You can split that into uh, cost centers and then each, each and every cost center is going to have its own budget. We are going to be seeing that in the near future when we dive into uh, business training for ERP Next. Then here we have uh, business and closing uh, tools that we can be able to use here. We are going also to be diving into that, but yes, you can manage that in ERP Next. And then you have taxes. So 
here the uh, the taxes here depending on whatever country you are in you can manage the government taxes you can manage any kind of uh, maybe import taxes and all those kind of taxes within ERP next and therefore all you need to do is just to set up templates and then uh, the software is going to manage taxes for you and then these are other some kind of uh, profitability reports and there here we have uh, report like uh, gross profit you have profitability analysis report you have sales um, invoice trends and then we have budgets is invoice trends these are like important and quick uh, business reports so that is a very high level uh, uh, walk through through the accounting module and I'm going to jump next to the assets module so what we have in the assets module here basically um, ERP Next allows you to uh, manage your assets and anything to do with assets like uh, de uh, depreciation and all those and managing the movement of your assets can be done within ERP Next. And uh, the, uh, again, you are able to see the reports for each and every I uh, uh, asset that you are managing within ERP Next. And then here we have the build module. I'm going to keep that for now because I want to look at the major, major modules here. So the buying module, this is where you are going to be doing all your buying processes. The things like uh, the material requests. Let me scroll down here so that you can see that. You have material requests, you have your purchase orders, you have your purchase invoices, requests for quotations and supplier quotations. All those things are managed within the buying module so this is where you are going to be raising uh raising your uh, material request and then that is going to move across and by the way to mention here quickly is that uh, these documents can be handled by different people within your organization by that i mean uh, there one person can do material request and then they are going to save and submit the document and then the document is going to be put into a workflow so by that uh, what i should tell you is that erp next also supports workflows and you can do very complicated workflows within ERP Next. The, um, I've not uh, yet come across a workflow that ERP Next is not able to handle. It all depends on how good you are in setting it up. So yes, uh, this can be managed by a workflow where one person does the material request and then sends, saves and submits to another person who proceeds with the process as it is supposed to go. And then we have a number of reports here for the buying module. And again, we are going to be looking at those when we are looking at the buy module in the near coming days. The other important module we have here is CRM. This is very important for business. And this is where you are able to manage the leads, the opportunities, the customers. You're also going to be uh, to go ahead and be able to manage their contacts, communication, the lead sources, and any kind of things you have here, including the appointments. So this is a very comprehensive module that we have here. Again, I'm going to be uh, putting a lot of emphasis when I will be training you on how to use the CRM module within ERP Next. But yes, CRM is, can be uh, very well managed within ERP Next. The next important module here is H HR. This is Human Resource Management. And this is where all the, your employee data is going to be saved. So the things like the bio data of, uh, of uh, employees, things like uh, uh, their documents, uh, that is their qualifications, and anything that pertains ERP, uh, I mean not ERP, but uh, em your employees, is going to be saved within the HR module. And also this is where you're going to have things like the shift management. So yes, again, ERP Next can be configured to help you manage your shifts. So if you have maybe casual workers who you need to come in and maybe clock using a biometric device, and then that information is going to be tracked using a shift management application within ERP Next, and the system is going to uh, automatically calculate the amount of time an employee has been working and log that and give you a proper report, all that can be done within ERP Next. And I will also be showing you that uh, in the near coming day. So we will have a lot to learn in the coming days perfect and you can see here we have a lot of reports we have attendance we have expense claims by the way this is again something that i can uh, i can talk about these are expenses that uh, maybe your employees have uh, undergone using maybe their own uh, money i can see that 
and then they want to claim it back. So expense claims can be done within your app next. So the thing, the whole thing is automated. No more paperwork of employees coming to uh, the HR with papers, asking them to, for refunds. Everything can be done within ERP Next. Then remember, ERP Next being a cloud um, software uh, means that your employees can actually key in this information from wherever they are and the HR is going to receive that, inf uh, that data on the system in real time. Uh, that is a sweet one. And then here we have a number of things here, like fleet management can also be uh, managed within the HR management, uh, the HR system uh, module, uh, the drivers, the vehicles, and the logs, and also the expenses of the logs can uh, of the vehicles here can be managed uh, through the HR module. How about recruitment? The recruitment process where you do a job advertisement and then people apply for the job and then you conduct interviews all that can be managed within ERP Next. That can be set up and you can uh, do job advertisements within ERP Next uh, on your website. So when you do a job advertisement, it is posted to your website. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. And then employees can be able to apply and when they apply, the data or the information they have uploaded or the uh, response to the forms comes directly to your ERP Next instance here. And the HR is able to look at them as they come and do proper decisions. All that can be done through ERP Next. And you can also actually do the interviews, the initial interviews uh, through uh, ERP Next as well. All that can be uh, automated. Now, here is the loans. These are loans. We, also, we have a loans module here that uh, we are going to brush through also. But here, uh, this, what this does is that you can attach co or connect the loans module with your employees. So when it loans is appearing in the HR module here, this in, uh, is these are the loans that have been taken by your employees. So again, that can be managed within the HR module. And then here we have training. So when you need to train your employees, you can also do that within your API Next uh, with all that information captured here, like the training program the event, the results of the training, and the feedback from the trainees. All that can be captured and managed through ERP Next. The other thing that you can do is something like appraisals, and uh, you can set up appraisal templates. You can also manage the energy points, and also the, uh, the logs for the same can be managed within ERP Next. So you don't have to do manual appraisals again. When you have, or you have, you when you implement ERP Next, you are going to be able to do appraisals from within ERP Next. And here you can see we have key reports like the monthly attendance sheet. This is what I was telling you about from the biometrics or whatever you have captured your attendance. You can manage it here. Recruitment analysis is here also. Employee analytics is here, and so many other reports that you can get here. So that is all about uh, HR module. But remember. This is the, uh, in a very high level. I'm just brushing through them. You can log in using the information that I'm going to uh, provide you at the end of this video and uh, do the practice yourself here. And if you need any uh, assistance with uh, any of these modules, by the way, when you need to implement any of this, you can contact us uh, at Upelsoft and we are going to help you to uh, do that. Now, let's jump to the next module, which is loans. And loans are basically about uh, management or issuance of loans to either employees or maybe even if you are a lending organization, you can be able to manage your loans within your API Next. So you can do something like uh, people can do loan applications. You can do loans and loan types and all those kind of things. You also have a dashboard here dedicated for reports, for quick reports about, e, uh, about your loans and how they are performing and all that. So uh, people can also be able to repay, make repayments from within ERP Next. That is all about loans. And again, here now we have another module that is payroll. This is very much closely related to HR. And this is where you are, you are uh, able to set up things like the salary components, salary structures. You are able to do uh, assignment of salary structures to employees and payrolls and then salary slips. So you're able to manage all this again from within ERP Next. And again, there are so many other things here like the tax slabs, the payroll periods that you can configure here. 
and then you are able to get a report things like salary registers and all these other reports that you can look at uh, for yourself when i provide you the logins that is again available and very possible uh, within your pinex projects and project management is also within included in your pinex and this is very very comprehensive also uh, you can set up your tasks here and by the way, uh, tasks can, uh, this can also be a drill down of tasks. So when we have tasks here, does not mean that this is only going to allow you to do one task at a time. Or my, uh, by that I mean, uh, it's not like, uh, like um, sibling tasks. You can have tasks which are under other tasks and the drill down is, uh, is endless. So you can also set up things like tasks which are dependent on other tasks. And therefore, they cannot be taken until maybe another task has been completed. You can also do uh, project management. This is where you set up your projects and so many other things that you can do within the project management here. You can also connect your projects here to other sections of your application. Um, like things like even the agriculture module. We are going to look at that uh, later. Uh, or any other things that you like to manage as a project. You are able to do that within your app next. And then here you can see we have quickly reports here. That again, you can go ahead and look at at your own time. Now, here we also have quality management. Again, it is included in Europe Next. Quality management can be applied in a number of uh, sections like the items management when you are buying, uh, maybe quality of services that you are getting. All those can be configured within Europe Next, and you can also manage any kind of quality uh, uh, stuff that you want to manage within Europe Next. Now, the selling module is where uh, you make your money. This is where you sell you, the things, whether it is services or it is goods that you are selling. This is where that happens. And here you can see we have uh, items, but I, uh, items is basically from the stock module. But yes, of course, because when you are selling, items are what you're going to be selling, and that is why we have them there. And in the selling module, this is where you're going to be doing uh, things like the sales invoices you're going to be doing stuff like um like maybe converting uh, a customer i mean a lead to a what all these are going to be available here so here we have quick links like customers so here you can manage your customers you have quotations these are quotations maybe when you have been requested by uh, uh, by a customer who you supply this is where you can make the quotation and then you have sales orders and sales invoices and you can also do blanket orders within your Next. That is wonderful. I'm going to be explaining to you later uh, when we are going to be diving into the selling module what blanket orders are. But if maybe you are in that need currently, you can hit our inbox uh, at Opelsoft and we are going to be helping you with that. You can check the links to our website and also our contacts on the description, uh, description section of this video if you have an urgent need uh, that you would like us to help you with then we have our sales partners here we are also going to be looking at what sales partners are but basically these are people that help you do the selling so uh, management of those people and also compensating them is also uh, available uh, within erp next and then we have sales people that also you can manage within erp next now there are a lot of things that you can do here Again, we have a number of reports here. You can dive in and uh, just log in and check them for yourself. Look at the kind of reports that you are able to get within the selling module. Stocks is another module. And this is where you're able to manage everything about your stocks. Whether it is items, you can split your items into different warehouses. You can also look at the rep reports here about the stock balances. You can do uh, things like uh, reconciliations. You can do stock takes. All those things are available within the stocks uh, module. This is uh, one module that we are going to be diving into uh, uh, very soon. And I'm going to be explaining all these things to you, what these do. And I'm going to be doing some very comprehensive training here. But before then, you can use the logins that I've provided again to log in here and look at the reports that you're able to get here. If you need any clarification with any of these reports, or maybe you are stuck uh, currently with the system you're using as long as it's ERP next then you need maybe assistance with any of these items here we are available and excited to help you so please check the description of this video for the contacts that you can use to reach us and 
we are going to help you with that. Now support, your customers will definitely need uh, some kind of support, uh, support. Uh, and this is the module that again your Pinext has provided that we can use to manage um, our customers and the support. So your customers can request for something within your Pinext and that is going to come to the system and it can be logged here and then it can be queued so it can be given priority. So that if maybe you are a software development company, there is a client who wants you to do one, two, three for them. And then uh, maybe later there's another client who wants to do one, two, three. All those logs are going to be managed here and you as issues and you are able to give them priority and then assign them to different people. So all that is available within ERP Next. Now website I'm going to skip. This is about building a website within ERP Next. Again, it is possible. Uh, if you have any questions about this, you can ask us. Settings, again, this is where you do most of the settings for ERP Next. Then remember, I am able to see all this because I'm logged in as an ad administrator here. So I can also change settings within ERP Next. There is a lot that you can do here. Uh, I, um, I will not be diving into this. There is too much to do here. Uh, if, if you have any questions or doubts that you would like us to tell you or to shed some light on the kind of questions you have, whether ERP Next is able to do that, we are glad to help so please again check the description let us uh, know the kind of questions or doubts you have and we are happy or more than happy to assist utilities again i'm going to skip uh, this is where you can manage your videos and all those kind of things i'm going to skip that and move to domain specific uh, modules now domain specific modules are the modules that you install the modules that you have added in case you want to manage more uh, more than this. These are called the core modules. These are the core modules within your Next. They will always be there. And then these are the domain specific. You may be uh, very keen on agriculture. Maybe you want to manage some agricultural farm. You are maybe farming something like flowers or you are maybe doing something, I don't know, um, whatever you're doing in agriculture that can be managed within ERP Next. Again, you can hit our inbox and you're going to shed some more light on that uh, for you. Here we have education. So if you have a school, whether it is a university, it's a college, it's a TVET, it is uh, maybe a high school or a primary school or whatever kind of a learning institution you have, this can be managed within ERP Next. Here you can do things like student management, instructors, programs, courses, fees, and everything about the student, including learning, online learning. That is where you are able to provide content for your learners, wherever they are uh, on the globe, and they are able to learn online. You can provide all that. You are able to provide co your learning content in articles. You can provide in videos, or you can even provide the quizzes. This is where you are able to provide quizzes for your students, or wherever they are. They can take the quiz, and then they are going to submit the results. Now, the results are going to, the system again has the ability to automatically mark the exams as they come for the students and submit the results to them. So again, the instructors are not going to be needing to sit down with, with red pens to mark the exams. Exams are going to be marked automatically by the system and we can help you configure all that so that that is doable. So here we have again the courses. You can manage all that. You can manage fees, fee structures and all that where students in the same class can have different amount of fees for instance maybe where you have student categories like maybe this is a special student who needs special care or maybe whatever you have reason you have whatever reason uh, for whatever reason you have given them a discount and they are paying less amount of money or maybe someone is paying more than others you can manage that within erp next painlessly if you uh, need any kind of uh, something like that we are glad to help you and that is going to happen within the education module and that uh, will streamline your business. Again, there are a number of things here you can look at, the reports, the assessments here, and a number of things that you can look at. So again, kindly just log in, feel free to log in, check what uh, the education module has provided you, and we are, able, uh, we are more than happy to help just in case you need us to. Then here we have the healthcare module. Uh, this is um, where you can be able to manage your patients. That This is for hospitals so here you can manage basically anything about uh, about your hospital 
whether it is patients, it is uh, encounters, it is vital signs, it is appointments, it is uh, practitioners, patient history, anything you want to manage within your hospital can be managed within ERP Next. Now remember, when I say can be managed within ERP Next, I may not be necessarily meaning that everything is already done within ERP Next. But the beauty with the ERP Next is that you can basically customize this software to provide you anything you want to have in your uh, business. So if maybe this is a hospital you have, ERP Next may not uh, necessarily have everything that you need to get started immediately. But the good thing is that it has most of the things and it can be customized. And we do that at Upelsoft. And by the way, this is our website. It's upelsoft.com. I will put this into the description uh, description section so that uh, you can reach us in case you need to and go to uh, contact us page and just reach us. Write us an email and reach us. You can also um, call us using our, uh, our, our, our lines or you can just send us a WhatsApp message and we are going to jump into action immediately to help you. Perfect. Now, how about manufacturing? Now, manufacturing again here is very, very complete. Now, whether you are doing discrete or you are doing uh, process manufacturing, ERP Next has the ability to do either of those. So do not be scared because maybe you are doing process manufacturing where um, um, uh, yeah, uh, one process produces another process, then produces another, produces a raw, uh, a raw material for another process, and then that process produces a raw material for another process. Whether you need to do that, or you have just a bit of materials which goes through the process and produces end, uh, an end product, whatever kind of manufacturing you need to do, that can be done within ERP Next. Uh, within ERP Next. You can set up your bit of materials, you can set up anything. You can do for a casting, you can do production plans where you need to do, uh, do production in the future. You can do something like uh, work orders and uh, all those kind of stuff. And again, you have a lot of reports that you can look at here. Things like production plan report, work order summaries, quality inspection summary. You can look at this again. Downtime analysis, and all these that you can look at uh, yourself are available within ERP Next. Now, again, remember, Upelsoft is more than happy to help you set that up. These are our, our contacts. So you can just go to Upelsoft and slash contact and we have everything that you need here if you need us to help you with anything. That manufacturing non-profit is, these are for uh, non-profit non non organizations, uh, organizations that exist not for profit. So again, remember business is all about profit, but if your business is not profit making, again, that can be managed within ERP Next. We can uh, help you again set that up and we are going to be more than happy to do that. Reach us and you are going to do that. Retail. Now, retail is where you need to set up something like your POS and you're going to set up something like a profile for each and every or, uh, uh, user who logs in, who needs to log into your application. Basically, retail is where you are selling goods uh, to the end users. Again, this can be managed within ERP Next. You can do a point of sale where people are going to uh, come and buy quickly and then the payments are going to just get into your accounting module here and you can manage everything easily. Now, that is all I want to cover today about ERP Next. Again, this is about administration. I, get, I told you I am logged in as an ad administrator here. That is why I'm seeing all these things. Now, that's all I wanted to cover today. Remember, everything that you need, if you need to get us, you can get that information on the description section, or you can just go to opersoft.com and you are going to get us there. Now, uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do, because in the near future, I'm going to be doing videos showing you exactly how to do or how to use each and every one of these modules. So that is what I'm going to be doing next. Now, before I leave here, let me log out of this and then I'm going to show you where you can be able to log into that instance. You see here, this is the instance I have set up. It is at try.upelsoft.com try.upelsoft.com and again this link is on in, in, in the description section below you're going to land onto this page 
And here I have given you the username and the password that you need to log in and you can test this application. Let me show you that. The username is Supersoft or Loakis and then the password is Supersoft with a capital U. So let me go in and log in and show you that. So I can log in here with Opelsoft. This is the username and then the password is Opelsoft, but this time with a capital U, so that's a capital U, Opelsoft. If you show this password, you can see that it's Opelsoft and then I'm going to go ahead and log in. So click login and the system has logged me in. And once you are in here, let me save that for uh, later. Once you are in here, you can look at basically all these modules that we had. So you can uh, go ahead and dive in and use the application the way you want. Test things out. If you have any questions, please, uh, we are more than happy to help you. Uh, again, remember, please keep uh, the, uh, the software clean. Uh, you can, of course, put in your data, but make sure you're putting in uh, clean data, which, of course, other people can also benefit from. And that way, we are all going to benefit. Thank you so much for watching, and I wish you all the best, and I hope to see you in the next video on the training. Cheers and see you.